people were clawing for information. They wanted something. They needed something to believe in and rely on. And if the only thing available to them was something, either an extended truth or something that was untrue, um, they might be more likely to believe in that. Misinformation is a prevalent issue on social media, especially during the pandemic. Canadian scientists, researchers and science communicators have come together at the Grande Bibliothèque in Montreal to show their findings on misinformation and how to fight it. On social media, the algorithms tend to push like content with like content. So if someone is already engaging in some kind of misinformation or other conspiracy theories, um, they might be more likely to be exposed to this kind of uh, misinformation. Emma Quinn is a research assistant on a project about the COVID-19 infodemic, a study that looked at 300 posts with hashtags like government lies, hoax and masks don't work. The study showed how ineffective Instagram's fact-checking tool really is, as the majority contained false information. Of the 300 posts that we looked at in 2020, only one was flagged for misinformation uh, by the following year, and approximately a third of them were removed. Escaping misinformation is not that simple. On top of algorithms, research also showed the use of exploitative targeted ads on social media users. When ivermectin was kind of everywhere, um, we saw ivermectin being advertised on meta platforms. Um, we see things about long COVID right now on the platforms, which is something we're still fully understanding. Um, and there's a lot of um, products that are supposed to kind of treat or help prevent COVID, which is very little to no efficacy for. According to a recent report released by the Council of Canadian Academies, 2,800 deaths could have been avoided in 2021 if not for the vaccine hesitancy caused by the misinformation surrounding COVID-19. So how can people protect themselves from misinformation online? I would always encourage people to look at their local government websites um, and uh, kind of get direction, uh, information directly from experts themselves or from uh, your trusted public health officers. A lot of social media platforms do have a fact checker um, program or third party involved, although as we saw in that study, um, it's not as effective as one might hope. So more recently, um, you see a lot of posts that have kind of a, a little blurb at the bottom of a post suggesting that other um, COVID information from the World Health Organization would be useful to look at. You might be able to share some, some little facts with your friends and family that also helps them kind of understand the broader picture. And the more you know, um, the easier it will be to recognize misinformation. In Montreal, Diona Makalinga, City News.